In this presentation, you're going to learn about the five foolproof methods you can use to develop long-term motivation. Motivation can be a fickle thing. One moment it's there, and the next it vanishes into thin air. Just an hour ago, you were motivated to finish your daily task, but now you're looking dejected and thinking of giving up. You've lost enthusiasm. You need to figure out a way to get your motivation back. Here's how. Method number one, write your long-term goals down. Writing your goals down makes it easier for you to process and accept that it's real, it's happening. It's not just a figment of your imagination. When it's all in your head, it's easy to say it didn't happen. But when you write your goals down, then it becomes a very real, if distant, possibility. Method number two, carefully plan how you're going to achieve your goals. You need to have a solid plan in place if you want to achieve your goals. After writing everything down, you're going to need to take action, lots of it. If you fail in a daily task, attempt it again the following day. Don't just give up when the going gets tough. Method number three, have a visual representation of your goals. Seeing is believing. If you visualize your goal, then it's easy for you to wrap your mind around achieving it. If you can clearly see what your goal looks like and how you'd feel when you achieve it, then it will help you get through those rough days. There'll be plenty of those, unfortunately. Method number four, be accountable to yourself and others. Holding yourself accountable for your goals is easier said than done. It's just you, after all. For you to really hold yourself accountable, then you need to have the self-discipline to see everything through. To make things easier for you, try getting someone you trust involved in your plans. It could be your parents, your spouse, your best friend. Just make sure you choose someone who will motivate you and not drag you down with their negativity. Method number five, reward yourself. Having a reward system in place is very important. For every task, milestone, and small goals you take off your to-do list, reward yourself. You don't have to splurge. You can reward yourself in a variety of ways. Six strategies to turn obstacles into opportunities. In life, obstacles and challenges are a given. Sometimes you'll find it hard to find your way around them. However, if you let obstacles get to you and affect you mentally, then you'll find it hard to succeed in anything. Tune into this presentation to find out how you can turn all the obstacles that stand in your way into opportunities. Number one, think of obstacles as slight delays to your destination. No matter how well you plan your journey, delays often happen. Whatever your goal in life is, you'll inevitably encounter delays. You may not achieve your goal within the time frame you've specified. But as long as you keep on fighting for your dreams, you'll eventually get there. Number two, look beyond the obstacles. Obstacles may loom over you and block the path to your success. It may even temporarily blind you with darkness. Don't let it get to you. Stand up when you fall down and look for ways to navigate around the obstacle. If it doesn't budge when you push it, try climbing over it or even dig a hole underneath it just to get past it. Do whatever it takes to put the obstacle behind you. Number three, improve yourself. Sometimes the biggest obstacle to success is yourself. You may lack the necessary skills or experience. So what you need to do is improve yourself, get the experience and learn new skills. Once you have these, you'll be better equipped to succeed. Number four, always take action. The moment you stop taking action towards your goals, then you're effectively letting the obstacle win. Have a daily, weekly, and monthly goal in place to motivate yourself to take action. Number five, positive thinking will go a long way. With positive thinking, you'll be able to view the obstacle in a new light. You may not know it, but that obstacle may open up a new path for you, an easier and shorter path that will lead directly to your goal. While you're at it, you may even learn new skills in the process. Number six, don't lose sight of your goal. Obstacles that come your way may leave you feeling negatively about your chances of success. However, if you always keep your goal in front of you and you use that as your motivation to succeed, then you'll inevitably find ways to reach your goal. Seven tricks to keep going when you feel low and demotivated. It's tough to work on something when you're not in the mood for it. It's even tougher to keep going when you no longer feel motivated to do anything. In this presentation, I'm going to share with you seven actionable tricks so you can regain your motivation and continue chasing your goals. Number one, take a break. Taking breaks from time to time is important. 
It helps you clear your head. It helps you relax. It helps replenish your energy. When you start feeling like you're not getting anywhere and you're feeling more and more frustrated, then take that as your cue to take a break. Number two, do what makes you happy. Nothing releases stress faster than doing something you love. When you take a break, go to your favorite park and look at the birds or something. If you love beaches, then take some time off your busy schedule to let the sea breeze clear your head. Number three, challenge yourself. If you're bored with your current setup, then try challenging yourself. Write down what you want to happen and think of a corresponding reward when you achieve it. Number four, take some time to exercise. Exercise is good for your mind and body. You can go to the gym, lift some weights, and run a few miles on the treadmill. Go play some basketball if that's your thing. When you get back to work, you'll feel a whole lot better. Number five, change your priorities. Maybe you feel like you're working on a Herculean task and you find it highly unlikely you'll succeed. If this is the case, then maybe you need to adjust your goals and change your priorities. Start small and take baby steps. You'll feel motivated when you see yourself making some progress. Number six, ask for help. Ask for help from people you trust and respect. If you know someone who's been through a similar situation, ask them for advice. Look for positive people in your circle of friends and ask them what they do in your situation. Number seven, uncover the root cause of your demotivation. You have to look deep within yourself to find out why you feel this way. No one else can answer it for you. Once you uncover the reason, don't just stop there. Do something to fix it. You'll find yourself feeling more motivated once the root cause is uncovered. In this presentation, you're going to learn 10 different ways you can drive yourself to do good things. Let's get started. Method number one, don't aim for perfection. Perfection is extremely difficult to achieve. If you want to succeed, you're going to have to aim a notch lower. You'll find there's more room for growth and you'll have more fun learning from the experience. Method number two, have a mantra. Your mantra will help motivate you to keep going. Believe in what you're saying and you'll soon find yourself getting closer to achieving your goals. Method number three, always look at the positive side of things. Many extraordinary people are positive thinkers. When you think positively, you tend to see the good and great in many things. Method number four, have a detailed to-do list. It will be difficult to do great things if you're unorganized. Have an actionable plan, a detailed to-do list for your day. Life is short. Maximize the time you have left to achieve your goals. Method number five, Look at what other great people are doing. Read about your favorite entrepreneurs or your favorite statesmen. Look at what they're doing. How did they get where they are now? Figure out what makes them unique from regular Joes. Apply what you've learned to your own life. Method number six, learn to embrace failure. Many people are afraid of failure, but there's really nothing to be afraid of. Failure is a fact of life. Embrace it and learn from it so you can grow and succeed in the future. Method number seven, acquire positive habits. Acquiring positive habits is a must, but before you can do this, you need to let go of your negative habits first. Your new habits will contribute greatly to your success. Method number eight, read inspirational books. No matter how busy you get, always find the time to read inspirational books. A few pages or a chapter each day will inspire you to do great things in your life. Method number nine, Listen to motivational podcasts. Podcasts are wonderful in that you can listen to them while you're on the go. Whether you're at the gym or driving to work, motivational podcasts will help you feel motivated and energized throughout the day. Method number 10. Reward yourself for every big achievement. Have you been wanting to buy a big ticket item like the latest smartphone, a new car, a powerful laptop, a house? Then use it as a motivational tool. Buy it only when you achieve your goal. How to discover your purpose in five simple ways. If you're feeling unhappy with where you are in life right now, or you don't feel satisfied, or you feel like you should be doing something else, then you probably haven't found your life's purpose yet. It's not too late. Stay tuned to this presentation to find out how you can discover what your purpose is. Number one, think back to when you were happiest in your life. Discovering what you're meant to be doing in your life means you're going to have to take a look deep within yourself. You're going to have to think back to the times when you were the happiest. 
the times when you felt immense joy and freedom. It may have been when you were a child, when you were at school, or even now in the present. Whenever it was, think about what you were doing that made you very happy. Number 2. What do you love doing most? You can't say something is your life's purpose if you don't love doing it. So ask yourself, what do you love doing the most? What do you love doing that it doesn't matter if it's hard or challenging or even painful at times? If you're passionate about something, you're willing to do whatever it takes to continue doing your passion. Number 3. What comes easily and naturally to you? Do you find doing certain activities come easily to you? You may have the talent for it. If so, you can hone your talent to be the best at whatever it is you love doing. You don't have to aim for perfection, but when you can find your life's purpose, you'll find yourself working hard to excel at your craft. Number 4. What is your heart telling you to do? If you're stuck in a job you don't particularly like or enjoy, then that's obviously not your life's purpose. You're probably not meant to sit in a small cubicle slaving away in front of your computer. Listen to what your heart is saying. Is it telling you to go out and pursue something else you know you'll absolutely love? Number 5. What are you willing to sacrifice for? One of the best ways to find out what your life's purpose is, is to uncover what you're willing to sacrifice for. When you're passionate about something, you don't let any obstacles stand in your way. You won't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. You'll fight for your purpose with every fiber of your being. How to use motivation to get rid of procrastination Everyone procrastinates at some point, even the best and most successful among us. However, when procrastination becomes a habit, then you need to do something about it. In this presentation, you're going to find out how you can use the power of motivation to get rid of procrastination. When you find yourself procrastinating all the time, and you find yourself failing to achieve anything that needs to be done, then you've got to look deep within you and find out why you keep procrastinating. Do you feel like the tasks you need to do are too overwhelming? And you need to put it off so you don't feel too stressed? If this is the case, then you can try breaking down the tasks into mini tasks. Break it down into small tasks to make it easier for you to do. You may need to take the time to plan this step through. Make sure the mini tasks will still lead to the completion of the main task. You don't want to create small tasks that have absolutely nothing to do with the main task. Try this system. You'll ultimately feel more motivated to work on your tasks. Alternatively, if you're one of those who feels like they work best when the deadline's close, then you may want to create a system whereby you adjust the deadline to something closer to the present. When you do this, you're essentially telling yourself you need to do this task now. Not tomorrow or next week, but now. Create a sense of urgency. You'll need plenty of self-discipline, however, for this system to work. Otherwise, you'll still end up ignoring your self-imposed deadline and procrastinate. Without discipline, you'll be panicking when the real deadline's near because you haven't even started and you vastly underestimated the difficulty of the task ahead of you. For either system, you can dangle a reward in front of yourself. Tell yourself you'll treat yourself to your favorite candy bar or your favorite ice cream or maybe watch the latest blockbuster with your friends. Then, when you achieve your goal, because you didn't procrastinate, go out and reward yourself. The 4 Best Kept Secrets to Accomplish Personal Freedom Personal freedom sounds great, doesn't it? But for many people, it appears to be too far out of reach. And thus, they remain chained to living a life they don't particularly enjoy. Stay tuned to this presentation if you want to know some of the best kept secrets to accomplishing personal freedom. Secret number one, freedom is in your hands. You may not feel like it, but it's true. Freedom is in your hands. All you have to do is take it and control how you want to live your life. You're responsible for your quality of life, not your family, not your parents, not your spouse, not your government, but you yourself. Take responsibility for your happiness. Your life is literally in your hands. Secret number two, live life the way you want to. You may say it's easier said than done. After all, you've got bills to pay. You're stuck in a dead-end job because you've got nowhere else to go. However, if you want to achieve personal freedom, you're going to need to start planning how you can live life the way you want to. If you need to acquire new skills so you can get a better job or move elsewhere, then do it. Don't be afraid to move out of your comfort zone. Otherwise, you'll never be free. Secret number three, be thankful for what you have. You don't need money to be free. Yes, having money is nice, 
but there are many happy people out there who aren't rich, and plenty of wealthy people who are unhappy and who continue to search for their life's meaning. Learn to appreciate the non-material things in your life. Be thankful for your parents, your spouse, your kids, your friends, your pets, anything and anyone who makes you happy. Secret number four, always look at the positive side of things. It's hard to accomplish personal freedom if you can't even look at the positive side of things. If all you see is negativity around you, then you'll be chained to wherever and whatever you have right now. Positive thinking is important for one to move on and move forward towards freedom. Remember, there's always a silver lining somewhere. It may not be too obvious at first, but sooner or later, it's going to reveal itself to you. You just need to keep the faith and think positively. <laughs> Top 6 Habits That Will Help You Achieve Your Goals Faster In this presentation, you're going to learn all about the top habits you should acquire if you want to achieve your goals in a shorter time frame. Let's begin. Number 1. Wake Up Early in the Morning Many successful entrepreneurs and CEOs wake up early in the morning. There are many benefits to waking up early. You can plan and set the tone for your day. There are fewer distractions in the wee hours of the morning. You'll find you can accomplish a lot long before the rest of your household wakes up. Number 2. Maintaining a Journal Writing your thoughts down in a journal is therapeutic. It will help you understand your thought processes, and it will help you control your emotions better. You can write down your goals, and you can refer to your past entries whenever you've got questions about something you did previously. Number 3. Create a daily to-do list Having daily goals is important. Your daily goals should be in line with your main goals. One of the best ways to make sure you're still on track to achieve your goals is to have a daily to-do list. It will help you manage your time. You'll know which activities or tasks to prioritize for the day, which will help increase your productivity. Number 4. Find the time to exercise If you've always found it difficult to squeeze in some time to exercise every day, then you're going to have to find a way to do so. Exercise is important, and it has a lot of health benefits for your mental and physical health. You'll have more energy throughout the day, and you'll generally feel happier. Number 5. Eat a healthy diet The last thing you want to happen to yourself is to get sick. Eating unhealthy food will do that to your body. If you're sick, then you're not going to be able to work on your goals. Eat a healthy diet and stop putting junk food in your mouth. Number 6. Manage your time We've only got 24 hours in a day, and you spend 6 to 8 hours sleeping. That leaves you with 16 to 18 hours to work on your goals. Play with your kids, hang out with your spouse, watch your favorite sports on TV, do your hobbies, drive to the office, etc. You've got plenty of activities lined up every single day. Manage your time well and prioritize those that must be done first. Why you need to take massive action if you want to succeed If achieving success is easy, then literally every single person on this planet is going to be successful. Both you and I know that's not the case, nor will it ever be the case. In this presentation, you're going to find out why you need to take massive action if you ever want to be successful in life. Many people believe in luck while many others don't. I'm not going to present a case here whether luck exists or not. However, the point I want to make is that if you want to succeed, you're going to have to remove the word luck from your vocabulary. It's so easy to become complacent. It's so easy to say, I'll try again tomorrow, maybe I'll get lucky. To become successful, you're going to have to follow the path of many successful people. Want to know how they got to where they are now? Well, let me spell it out for you. They simply took massive action. They didn't wait for their luck to change. They worked with whatever they had. They overcame obstacles. They took positive action. They learned from their mistakes and their failures. Their success didn't happen overnight. Sure, it may look like it. One day they're just average people and the next day they're millionaires. But ask them what they did to get there. They'll probably tell you about their sleepless nights, the massive amounts of caffeine they had to consume just to keep going, their tears of frustration. What people see is the successful individual before them. They don't see the failures nor how long it took them to get where they are. Successful people took action. They learned to get better over time. They learned from their past failures. And they certainly didn't wait for luck to come their way. Taking massive action means you're going to have to be committed. You're going to be passionate about whatever it is you're planning to achieve. You'll plan every step of the way. You'll anticipate challenges. 
you'll fix whatever needs to be fixed to see your dream come to life. Find out what drives you from within, what motivates you, what lights a fire under you. Once you find what these are, you'll discover it will be much easier for you to take massive action so you can reach your dreams and your goals in life. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.